Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition aka your friendly neighbourhood spoiler man and with the announcement today that Kevin Feige will be developing a Star Wars film for Disney, things look bleak for Spider-Man with it looking less and less likely that he will be back in the MCU anytime soon. Now, if you've been keeping up to date with the channel, you'll know that we've been referring to Tom Holland as Schrodinger's Spider, just for the sheer amount of times that he's in and out. This is pretty much the movie equivalent of the Hokey Cokey, and in light of the recent news, I thought I'd take a step back, weigh up the entire situation, and give my thoughts on everything. There's so many rumours and false reports flying about at the moment that I'm purely going to stick to the facts with this, so we can get a clearer picture of exactly what's going on. Whilst I am giving my thoughts on the situation, this is backed up purely by official statements, instead of just being from we've got this covered. Now flash back to what feels like a lifetime ago, and we got the announcement that negotiations between Disney and Sony were at a standstill, and that Spider-Man had been removed from the co-ownership that had gone on since his appearance in Civil War. At D23, both Kevin Feige and Tom Holland stated that they were happy with the opportunities that they'd been given, but that going forward the character would be solely under Sony. Now, a big factor in this dissolving of the contract was that Kevin Feige was focused on other projects at Disney and that he didn't have time to work alongside Sony Studios for the 5% revenue share that Disney was getting under the old contract. In light of today's news, I think it's clear that Disney agreed that Feige would work on Star Wars and this is why he was unable to divide his time further. Days after D23, Holland announced that he would indeed be in Spider-Man 3 and that he had discussed the idea with Sony and that they were going forward with the project. Since then, Sony CEO Tony Vincicara stated that the door was currently closed, but that going forward there may be an opportunity to work together once more. Cut to today, and if you stand back and look at everything, I think it's pretty clear what's been going on. Disney no doubt wanted Feige to basically come in and save Star Wars, and thus the idea of him giving up a large wealth of his time for Spider-Man just didn't seem right. Decisions like the announcement today are made months in advance before they ever see the light of day in the press, and I think it's pretty clear that Feige had agreed to do Star Wars, Sony wished to have him still giving the same amount of time that he had in the past, and thus negotiations fell apart. Looking at things as a whole, I think it's extremely unlikely that Spider-Man will be back in the MCU for Spider-Man 3. I personally think that Sony know that the door is always open for them at Disney, and they want to take the property, develop their own thing that ties into their Venomverse, and then if things don't go according to plan, they can always return and renegotiate with the studio in order to put things back to how they were. Now whilst the studios may be working separately, I still personally believe that Spider-Man 3 will, at least in name only, be connected to the MCU. You simply cannot take characters from one universe and completely detach them from their roots like this, and thus the smart thing to do would be for Spider-Man to go on the run, pay lip service to things that have already happened, but branch off in a new direction. Now will this still mean that it's connected to the MCU, even though the character is no longer under the Disney umbrella? Technically yes, and this could potentially be enough to keep fans interested. This is pretty much the equivalent of taking, say, a character like Michael Myers, making a new horror franchise at another studio with him that doesn't have Laurie Strode in, but as the character himself still originates from that universe, it will be possible for fans' minds to make it so that there is still a connection, even if behind the scenes things are not in writing. Now as for Disney and Sony, looking at things purely from a legal standpoint, the two companies will still have to negotiate over certain things, as has been ongoing ever since the character was bought by Sony several decades ago. This is because Marvel still use the character in merchandise, comic books, cartoons and so on and thus there will always be a relationship between Sony and Marvel as they will have to meet in order to discuss certain directions and so on. So there is still potential that at some point the two studios could once again decide that it's time to put Spider-Man back under the fold of the MCU as I've no doubt that these two corporations are in regular contact with one another. However, for the meantime, I personally do believe that, at least for Spider-Man 3, that the wall crawler will be at Sony and thus they will be going forward, trying to begin their Spider-Verse. They already have several TV shows and a Venom sequel greenlit, as well as the Morbius movie next year, so this seems like their main focus at the moment. I could be wrong, 100%. 110% even, which means I could take away how wrong I am by 10% and still be 100% wrong, 
I don't know, you do the maths on that one. But I will of course keep everyone up to date with the rumours, reports and other behind the scenes info that hits the internet about Spider-Man. But in the meantime, I thought I'd just give everyone an update on how I feel. Whilst I do still need to discuss the Apple Sony situation properly, at the moment I'm just viewing that as a rumour and I wanted to keep this video to the official stories and statements so that we don't get bogged down in intellectual property law. Now obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think this whole Star Wars situation has been what's really been the factor behind the negotiations falling apart? And if possible, do you think Spider-Man will return to the MCU? Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and make sure you check out my full breakdown of the Kevin Feige story itself which will be linked at the end. I go over everything you need to know about it so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. If you want to come chat to me about movies, TV shows, games and comic books then make sure you follow me on Twitter at DefinitionYT. It's the best way to get in touch with me and it's the perfect place to suggest new videos and topics, so hopefully I'll see you over there after this. Also just want to let you know that we're currently giving away a free copy of Spider-Man Far From Home on Blu-ray and all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is to like this video, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on the Sony Disney situation in the comments section below. The winner will be chosen at random on October the 15th and the Blu-ray will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. This is a channel for people who are super into superheroes, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.